This can be standing, this could be kneeling, or double kneeling here, curl to press. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, max reps, questions. I wanted to make my impact, you know, and, and, and serve my country in the way that I could. I mean, I had a lot of intense body pain. I mean, no amount of pain meds they were giving me were making that stop. Just, you know, working, doing the American dream thing, and all of a sudden one day I was out riding my bike and a distracted driver, she was texting and driving, and she ran a red light while she was doing so, and boom, she hit me in, the, in one of the intersections. Life can neither be easy nor expected. Changed my life from what it was then to what it is now. But for all the difficulty that adversity can carry, comes the opportunity to move past it. Inside this gym, oh, my arms are burning out. you'll find many who don't see unthinkable hardship as insurmountable challenge. It doesn't matter what your injury is, it's how you bounce back from that. An attack during a mission in Iraq in 2006 changed Green Beret Randy Nance's life forever. You look at yourself differently just because you do have some disabilities. And as much as I don't ever want to admit that or say that I'm disabled, it's a fact. I'm missing a part of my leg. His injuries ended his military career. I thought, man, the best years of my life may be behind me. It was the first time I'd ever had that thought. But then he stepped into adaptive training foundation outside of Dallas. So that first class for me was pretty much life changing. Doing hard things together galvanizes us, allows us to open up about the reason behind the reason why we feel stuck or why we feel limited in our lives. Runner, walker, ready! David Vibora founded this nonprofit after spending five years in the NFL. Putting on a football helmet and going down on the gridiron was pales in comparison to what they experienced, but the thinking around it was very synonymous. People with disabilities from across the country apply to take part in customized nine-week training programs here at no cost. Definitely uh, helped me keep progressing in the good things, staying away from the bad things. Marine veteran Brian Aft lost his legs while serving overseas. Then it was a couple years in recovery at the hospitals and uh, developed a really bad heroin problem. Here, he found help. You're gonna end up forcing yourself into a better mental place because you're still making physical improvements on yourself and you're gonna feel good about that. When they tell you that you can't do this or you can't do that, this is a place of can. After being hit on his motorcycle, Army veteran Keith Murphy had more injuries than most people have in a lifetime. Dislocated shoulder, uh, collapsed lung, seven broken ribs, lacerated kidney, a broken hip, broken pelvis. Uh, my leg was amputated, uh, broke my back, broke my neck. But no injury could take away his ability to fight back. I was determined to make my life back where it was before this happened, despite missing a leg. There is nothing that I can't do. I just recently rode my motorcycle to Mount Rushmore from here in Dallas. Round trip was 2,135 miles. I rode it all by myself. Easy. It's two-legged people that won't do it. But I did it, and there's nothing that you can't do. More than 60 million Americans live with a disability. While many may never come to this gym, David hopes they hear the message that comes from it. Wow, it's that moment that is actually the catapult to be able to position you to see beyond what you thought was possible for your life. Uh, but it just takes you kind of being this sponge to say, God, universe, right? I'm willing, you know, to, to have your way with me and I'll trust that it's gonna be for my benefit.